Hi, and welcome to CTEC. We're regularly asked the difference between lead acid and lithium batteries. So we've compiled a short explanation of some of the key differences. If we start with lead acid, lead acid remains the main source of energy for the automotive, traction and UPS segments. It consists of alternating lead and lead dioxide plates connected in series to make a cell. Water and sulfuric acid is mixed together to make the electrolyte. Now, there are many different types of lead acid battery under the title lead acid. You may have heard of some of the following. We've got wet flooded, AGM, AGM spiral, gel, calcium, calcium and EFB. Many different names, but they are all types of lead acid battery. And one of the main differences between them is the way the electrolyte is held within the battery itself. Lithium ion is the new technology on the market. And as with the lead acid battery, the one name covers a number of different technologies. Some of the most used technologies are lithium cobalt oxide, lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide, lithium manganese oxide, and lithium iron phosphate. The electrolyte in a lithium battery is usually an organic compound as opposed to the sulfuric acid in a lead acid battery. When we talk about lithium batteries for vehicles like cars, motorcycles, etc., we will be talking about the LifePo4 battery. Unlike the lead acid, lithium batteries have a battery management system that protects the battery from both undercharge and overcharge. The main differences between the two are usable capacity, Lithium batteries have a greater usable capacity. You can use 80% of the power in a lithium battery before it is considered flat, compared to between 30 and 50% for a lead acid. Cost. Lithium batteries are considerably more expensive than lead acid batteries. Weight. Lithium batteries are a lot lighter than lead acid batteries, approximately one third of the weight which is why you'll find them in sports cars and on motorcycles. Over 90% of a lead acid battery is lead, and only 3% of a lithium battery is lithium. Temperature. Lithium batteries are sensitive to temperatures and don't operate well in extremely cold temperatures. Power output. Lithium batteries offer a greater power output per kilogram than lead acid batteries. Charging. Because they are constructed differently, they do need slightly different charging programs. CTEC recommends using the correct charger for the technology of battery at the time. Charge time. Lithium batteries can accept charge at a much higher rate than a lead acid battery, so therefore have a much quicker charge time than a lead acid battery. The lifetime. Although there are no official figures, it would appear that lithium batteries have a longer life expectancy than that of a lead acid battery. Maintenance. Lead acid batteries should be kept at between 100 and 95% state of charge to maintain the battery health. Lithium batteries should only be kept at between 75 and 85% state of charge. Any higher than this, and there's a risk of damage to the battery. Recycling. The lead acid battery is the most recycled product in the US and 99% of the battery can be reused. But due to the risks involved, currently we can only recycle around 27% of reusable material from a lithium battery. But experts predict this should increase to around 49% in the future. Now hopefully this has helped your understanding of these two technologies. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.